Hey everybody, on this exciting episode of Review Random Crap USA, I got a fake PS5 from AliExpress. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds well made. Breasts, 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 breasts. Skip it a button, that up. Hey, everybody, your favorite man with an ass is now on Cameo. You could get your own personalized video message sent directly from me to you. Link to my Cameo below in the description. I look forward to seeing you there. So I find these products absolutely amazing. Kind of like this $25, 25 terabyte. SSD that I got from Walmart. Yes, from a third-party seller, but it's still on Walmart's website. It's like buying something third-party from Amazon. It's still on their damn website. Don't know why. I mean, I get that it's the seller's responsibility, but come on now. Really? That's not a good excuse. But anyway, this comes from AliExpress. And the goal that these knockoff companies have making products is incredible. First off, that apparently is the controller. It is a blatant ripoff of the DualSense controller. Here it is right here. We'll actually do a apples to apples comparison. Do you like apples? Your breasts are dirty. But let's take a look around the box because the bangers that they put on these boxes is incredible. So we have dual rocker control. I'm guessing they mean dual analog sticks, you know, cause that's not like that's been a feature since the mid nineties on controllers. DualShock controller, anyone? PlayStation N64 controller had one analog stick on it. Anyway, so that's a feature. Professional game chip. It is the chip inside of the uh, Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 unprofessional. Don't even get those. Screw those. Why would you want this? Why would you want to play God of War Ragnarok today when this has a professional game chip in there made by professionals, made by men who are professional. They probably have asses. And with those asses, they made this for you. Shame on you for not wanting this instead of an actual PlayStation 5. That shut up, Bruno. Since he won't shut up, he'll join me. Bruno, this is 4K Ultra HD. You don't look at this. Look at it. Look at it. You're a dog. Look, Ultra HD. It's 4K. I'm sure it is 4K. I'm sure the bunch of ripped off ROMs they have in here from various consoles, Bruno, are coming in 4K and ultra clear. And support up to 40 kinds of classic simulators to play classic nostalgic games. Which, what they really mean, you really want to get out of here, don't you? Or you're going to fall asleep. Is that they have a bunch of emulators that they probably stole off the internet, a bunch of ROMs that they stole off the internet, and... They're here. All right, I'm done with you. And then we have a man here, um, a man who doesn't know how to comb his hair, who who wears sunglasses while they're gaming. I, I look at this. Look at him. Look, look at this guy. Who dresses like that while they're gaming? Who dresses? Like that? <laughs> All right, let's take a look around the side. This actually gave me a sigh of relief. It actually has a micro SD card slot. I don't know. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it up there? Is it blurry? I don't I don't really care. It's not that important anyway. HDMI, which will make my life a lot easier to capture footage. And then we have a micro USB port because I guess they forgot the memo that this is 2022, even though probably the, the board they have on here, which has the system on a chip, it's probably from like 2010. Um, I'm speculating that, but whatever. So there is your PlayStation 5. Uh, we have our man here again, um, 2.5 wireless controller. That's exciting. I always love looking at the bro broken English. Asphyxiation hazard. All packaging materials such as plastic bags, plastic sheets, plastic bags. Again, binding lines inside the machine should not be touched by children under three years old to avoid asphyxiation hazard and should be used under the supervision of adults. Why? Would, okay, that was well written. Stop. That I was supposed to have jokes there, and then you actually did 
proper English. God damn it. Uh, applicable age. Children under 14 years old need to use this product accompanied by an adult. Well, why? After it's hooked up, who cares? Like, you hit a power button. and Like, I wouldn't let a three or four year old play it because I'm sure there's a bunch of tiny parts or anyone younger than that. But 14? What is... Are they going to hit the power button? Is it going to light them on fire? Maybe. The company is committed to improving the quality of products and constantly introduce new products. The picture is for reference only. The hell does that even mean? Like, this is... So wait, am I going to have like a... Is this going to be shaped like an N64 when I open it up? But let's continue. Product features. Ah, <laughs> here we go. Thank you. Now we have the broken English that I've been craving. Double hands. If you have... What does that mean? How is that a feature? Is there hands in here? Are hands going to come out and pinch my nipples? I hope so. Support 40 simulators. They won't call them emulators because they call them, they're trying to dodge the legal system here. Uh, open source system and dual. What does that even mean? There, there's no, there's nothing after that. Then we go on to the third bullet point. There's nothing after that. Original 3D rocker, special game rocker for arcade, high sensitivity, anti-skid design. Is this a skateboard or a game console? Support 40 simulator games compatible with 10,000 games. Oh my God, peck at my nipples. Oh, 10,000 games. I'll never need another game console ever again. I'm throwing out my PS5 and Series X and gaming PCs tomorrow. Birds and can download games by yourself. That's why the, that's where the micro SD card slot comes in. High fidelity, high base. What? Is this a fucking Bluetooth speaker? Restore delicate and clean original sound. I'll be the judge of that when I capture footage from this thing. Operation system, Linux RetroArch. Okay. Language support, multi language emulator. We have MAME, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, PlayStation One. Interesting to see how it emulates that. Atari 2600 and Atari 7800, and the CPU is a GB2. I'll find out and post what the hell that means. And 100 it can do support. I can't talk. You ruined it. And for the micro SD card, it supports up to 128 gigabytes. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, all right let's open this thing up. Can I open it without slicing it? Climate change is real. It should not be that this hot in this room when we're almost, what was it, November 9th? November 9th? Okay, all right, yeah, we're going to... Uh, we're going to just uh, use a life hack here. Ugh. And it's still not... Okay, there we go. All right, let's see. Oh, it's actually not packaged terribly. Okay. Sounds more jiggly than it really is. It's like me. I'm jiggly, but not that jiggly. Okay. Let's uh, see what we got here. Guess this is a stand. Well, they went all out my copying PlayStation 5. They, we have a stand. And we'll look at the control. Okay, you know what? Let's look at the controllers first. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life here? Here is ha ha ha. Yo, you couldn't get cheaper plastic in this thing. They put effort to find the cheapness. Oh my god. I understand there's obviously like the dual sense and the uh haptic feedback technology that's not gonna be in here. I mean the analog sticks feel okay. They're smooth. Face buttons, they have a little bit of travel, but Oh wait, that's not a PlayStation. All right, it's not the most awful, awful, uh, ooh, oh no, 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 what kind of, please don't tell me it takes triple A's, please don't. Of course it takes triple A's, of course it does. Of course it does. So I'm gonna have to go out to the store and get goddamn triple, do I have triple A's here? Do I have, of course I don't. Why does every cheap product use triple A's? Why? Okay, but D-pad is terrible. I expected that. Is it like that where it's two pieces? Yep. No, it all moves. Okay, so it pivots. That's okay. These are obviously not analog triggers. You know, no haptic feedback back there. 
Uh, the L1 and R2 buttons feel okay. Uh, really, yeah, the triggers feel like crap too. They're obviously not analog, like I said. These buttons are actually clicky. All right, not the worst. And it has an on and off switch down there. Okay, cool. And a bunch of scrapes and scratches right out of the box. All right, so here, let me do an actual comparison real quick. Is it really the same? It's a little bit smaller. So at least it looks like that to me. Yeah, it's a teeny tiny bit smaller than the actual DualSense um, and feels a hell of a lot cheaper. So it comes with an HDMI cable. It's an HDMI, did I knock over my coffee? No, I didn't. Okay, I thought I knocked over my coffee. It's an HDMI cable, who cares? What is moving in here? What is moving in here? Oh no. <laughs> is this even gonna work? Oh, come on. Where is the US? Okay. We got, I don't, what is in there? All right, we already have, a, I guess this is where they have everything loaded on. This is a hundred, oh, they already have a 128 gigabyte card in there. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Is that, where's that stand? Does it even, oh, that's cute. Oh, look, there's the stand. If this thing works, I'll be shocked. Listen, <laughs> do you hear it? Here's the bike here. And we have a micro USB. They don't even give you a, a power source. Thank you so much for that. Um, all right, I'm gonna plug this thing in and see if it even works. I don't. <laughs> Why do I waste my time on this crap? Oh yeah, because it's actually entertaining and it gets views. All right, I'm gonna plug this into my little TV here and see if I even get a goddamn signal out of it. Be right back. Well, okay, so th <laughs> this is the Game Station 4K. I don't, there's no, absolutely nothing 4K about this system, but, uh, so let's see what we have here. We have a bunch of King of Fighters. We'll look through all that. I want to see, like, each category by system. What it... Heterosexual what? Heterosexual rebirth? What is... Hold on. Hold on. Before we do anything. Okay, good. I'm recording. We're having a heterosexual rebirth. What is this? Why does it have the 20th Century Fox theme? What does Fox have to do with the heterosexual rebirth? All right, Argonaut, I remember Argonaut. Alien. <laughs> Why was it called heterosexual rebirth? What is this, a PS1 game? I, man, hey, hey kids, what did you get for Christmas? I got heterosexual rebirth from Santa. Let's see how PS1 goes down. Oh God. The audio's terrible. It must be that crystal quality. I mean, the frame rate looks okay, but the audio's crap. Oh, hey everyone, I'm back. Oh yeah, yeah we're gonna avoid the, uh, the Famicom PlayStation PSP category. <laughs> Let's uh, let's try meme. Let's try meme. Oh come on, I'm leaving it this time. I'm leaving it this time. This is gonna goddamn load. Oh there we go. There we. Hey. Oh man, the loading times on this are, and it brought me back to the main screen again. That's. Uh, all right. Let's just try, try something. Do they have heterosexual rebirth the sequel? Marvel soup superheroes. Let's try that. Let's try that. Will it, load, will it load or are we gonna go back to the main screen again? Okay, good, thank God. Philip Burnell, the pro fighter, watch out. Review Tech USA is coming. Bubble, bubble, bubble. He shoots right, so I'm gonna be Spider-Man. Peter North for president, normal. I I don't think this controller is gonna do well with this. D-pad's not awful, I'm, I will say that. The face, the face, now the face buttons are fine. Not too much throw. I may have a chance, come on. How do I shoot ropes? Ah! I shot a rope! I shot a rope! Oh, the camera's out. Why, why do they have the Sega Genesis and it says Atari 2600? And then they have, like, a Game Boy Light 
and it has Mega Drive. Uh, they have a Game Boy Color for PS1, a Game Boy Advance for Super Famicom, a Famicom for Game Boy... Oh, we're going places. A Famicom for Game Boy Advance. All right, let's try... Let's try the Famicom Game Boy Advance. Let's see. I gotta be careful what I show from Nintendo. They'll, like, attack me. <laughs> let's see what this is. Oh, my God, the audio! Gee, it's... Come on, it's Game Boy Advance. I could see the PlayStation 1 giving you issues, but seriously? Yeah! All right, it sounds a little better now. All right, it's not in English. This, that's going to be a problem. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, uh, you're... Oh, my God, this is awful! So much slowdown, dude. Oh, my God, the audio is unbearable. And this game seems like it sucks anyway. Yeah, no to the GBA emulation. No, I'm not sitting here torturing myself. We'll try one more GBA game. We'll try a couple more arcade I I think you know where this story's going with this f piece of crap. This is actually a good Castlevania. Oh, I'm slowly dying inside with how bad this audio is. Oh my god, this audio. Uh, it is crushing my soul. All right, yes. Yeah, that, that's great. I can't read any of that. Oh, God. And then this gets butchered. In the fr Dude, it's frame skipping. It's frame skipping on a Game Boy Advance game. You may not be able to see it in the video, but... Oh. Oh, this is awful. Not the game. The game is fantastic, but this is not the way to play it. First off... These games have nothing. Lethal Enforcers 2 has nothing to do with Pit Fighter. Why are they both called Deadly Killer? <laughs> Kanam, what is this? I wanted Pit Fighter. Why is it bringing up Lethal Enforcers? Oh my, you don't even know what the hell you're playing with this goddamn thing. Oh God, how am I? I'm out of bullets? Wait, the mic is not in front of me. I'm about to die, aren't I? Yeah, this is... Look, it's Mr. Rogers. No, that... Yeah, that... That's about as fun... Playing a shooter like that with a D-pad is wiping your asses with, with friggin' sandpaper. No, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, all right. I'm playing Toki. Is this really Toki? I remember having this for the Atari Lynx as a kid. I swear to God, if this isn't the actual game I saw, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, that's a, that's a man right there. Oh, my. Is that his ass? No, it's not his ass. He has a cloth on. This is like the most Sega Genesis introduction to a game ever. I had this, like I said, for the links. It'd be interesting to see how this plays. Toki plays on a... Uh, whatever the hell I'm playing. I'm why am I making it like I'm playing on the Genesis? I'm playing it on the Ultra 4K fake PS5. The, the 4K Ultra Station. There's a bird! Oh wow, this is actually a pretty fun game. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> I forgot, Toki's pretty good. Alright, I'm not here to actually enjoy these games. I'm here to review this thing. Alright, Toki plays fine. Sounds fine, I think. Looks fine. Runs smooth. Now, wait, I'm seeing a little bit of it in the background. Um, some screen tearing. But other than that... Definitely... Oh my god, I just sat on spikes. Alright, yeah, that was great. Next game. Cucumbers. Ah. The intro's already screwed up. The sky is diarrhea brown for some reason. Alright, let's just go. L let me make this slightly... I, I always brought this to easy, even back as a kid, because have you ever played Super Ghouls and Ghosts? <laughs> You'll understand why. Alright, let's go. Birds and men... I remember getting this game in where oh how Jesus Christ the buttons are backwards. 
Alright, let's see. This seems to be running a little bit better. We'll play for like 30 more seconds. Alright. This has probably been the best experience I had so far. Not bad. Not bad. And this game is more graphically demanding, I would say, than Super Mario World, so... A little surprised. Alright, this gets a... I, I could play this without throwing up. Street Fighter Alpha 2. I actually had the cartridge of this for the Super Nintendo. Alright, I'm gonna be Ken. That's who I'm familiar with. Nah, B! Turbo on. I'm familiar enough with this game to know if it sucks. This is this version of it. Emulation sucks. Oh no. The controls are so laggy, dude. No, what are where's I, I should be able to I'm pretty good at Hadoukens because I'm a professional Street Fighter player like Philip Rennell. I can't pull one off. Can I do a s I can't do a fucking spin kick? I can't do anything. I can't even do a fireball! I Hadouken! It's like my- Ah! Ah! No. And I can't jump! I can't jump forward! Okay, I'm done with this thing! I'm done with it! No, this is crap! This controller is unusable! Goodbye! Alright, let's bring this review home. Jesus Christ! Listen, man. It's jiggling just like I do. It's jiggling right now, you hear me? This is a $55 before tax piece of crap. I can't believe they sold this thing. Now if you go back on AliExpress, it's not there anymore. You can't buy. Gee, I wonder why. The emulation on here is horrible. The controller, the DualSense 5 controller, you would play any of the fighting games that are in there. They're unplayable. Games have frame skipping. Games have audio issues. What amazes me about this is that they're hoping that people will be naive enough, not that anyone will think this is a PlayStation 5, I hope. But they're like, hey, it's a nice little, it's like a, how, you can't get a PS5, it's like getting an SNES Classic, but with even more games, but half the damn games are, are at best unplayable, or at best broken, I should say. And I can't open this thing, because it's glued together, there's, I've... <laughs> Alright, I guess we're doing a little, uh... No. Wait. Here's all it is. I don't need to do a second video for this. I don't need to. There is a... This is what was flopping around. There is a speaker in here for some unknown reason. There is no audio that came out of the speaker. And we have a teeny tiny... I tried to pry this thing open like six times. Of course, I didn't do it. Okay. And this is what's in here. It's a system on a chip. It's a SOC that has a bunch of ROMs on it, and it's crap. And it's still, there's still something jingling in here. Oh look, a whole bunch of plastic just fell out on my desk. 4K Ultra Station, everybody. Uh, don't buy this crap, it's junk. You're better, there's a billion different ways to emulate old games properly. This is not one of them. This is going in the trash now. Of course you open now! This is Richard Review Tech USA signing out. Get, get a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi over this thing any day. I have to see what the speaker is about later in my own time, but Raspberry Pi, emulate games that way. This is the wrong way. Don't buy this junk. Let the YouTubers buy it so they can review it for you.